Oh, hello, and welcome back to another Wildlife Wednesday. Whoa, welcome back again. Uh, I'm back out here at the prairie, Bethel Horizons Prairie, that is, and it has exploded. The flora here has just absolutely gone bonkers. Uh, we've had a couple really, really good rainy days, really, really hot days, and the plants just love that. There are many new species that are in bloom. Come join me for this little prairie experience I'll be taking you through on update number two. Here's the first flower we're going to be talking about today. This is Penstemon digitalis, or the tall Penstemon, I believe its common name is. What a kind of, it's a very unique flower. This is in the Scrofulariaceae or the Snapdragon family. One of the key characteristics of that family is to have these two petals on top and then these three petals down below making up five petals in total that are fused. And it is just a stunner. As you can see, the flowers will mature from the bottom up. So the most mature flowers that are almost done flowering here and may have been pollinated are these guys down here. And as you move up the flower, you have these little tiny ones that are just not even thinking about blooming yet. And not very far from the pensamen, we have these beauties in the background. Oh yeah. Now, what we're looking at here, this is called Baptisia alba, or white wild indigo. This is quite an incredible flower. It is in the Fabaceae, or the pea family, believe it or not. So any pea you've ever had, this is the same family. Bees and moths love pollinating this. Because this has white flowers, you can guess that a moth will pollinate this at night, considering that white f is usually the color that will show brightest in the dark of the night. Now, as I begin to walk a little bit further up into the prairie here, we get into some real stunners. I mean, there's two species up here that I'm about to show you that really should just absolutely blow your mind. And the first of those two species is this little guy right here. Wow, take a look at that. This is what you call lance leaf coreopsis, or coreopsis lanceolata. They really are just a fantastic little flower and they love, 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 love these prairie ecosystems with dry sandy soil and full sun exposure. Member of the sunflower family, the Asteraceae. And the second species that I hope will just absolutely blow your mind is this Tritoscontia oiensis. That's right, Tritoscontia oiensis. Say it with me, Tritoscontia oiensis. How nice is that? More commonly known as spiderwort though. No. Did you have a good time? Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy this Tritosconti oiensis? Do you want to see more of it? Stick around for the next Prairie Update, for the next Wildlife Wednesday, next week Wednesday. And until then, make sure you get outside. When you're outside, ask questions. Have a good time. Stay curious, you know. That's the whole point of being outside. Alright, I'll see you next week on the next Wildlife Wednesday.